between, you know, how long it was traveling? When did you arrive? What have you got up to for the first day or so? Any bit of training, things like that? Um, travel was a bit split. So the group group left Sunday afternoon, then larger group left Sunday evening. Um, big enough layovers for some lads. Some guys were probably 10 hours in Dubai waiting over and we got a nice one. We got an hour and a half. So quick enough transfer for us. Um, arrived in yesterday. Yesterday evening around dinner time, some more lads arrived in then about half ten at night and um, good good bunch of us got to the gym for spin out on the bikes and stuff, get the legs going and then today was a morning of meetings and pitch in the afternoon and gym afterwards. So you're very much into the swing of the training week by now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Well, well, well started now. Um, this is obviously like it's a it's a it's a place you're unfamiliar being in it, I suppose, like being away from home in a, in a big knockout week, like because over the last few years, obviously, you've been very well used to having home advantage from finishing so high up in groups and pools and, and league tables. Is is this a challenge that you've had to just kind of slightly get your head around a little bit differently? Um, yeah, in ways, but, you know, We've we haven't been successful in the last couple of years, so maybe maybe it's something that's needed. I don't know. Uh, challenge on the road, a week spent together as a group where you live together and band in and do everything together. So I don't know. I think it's, there's going to be some big positives from us. Yeah, like that was I was nearly kind of going to lead towards that way where whether or not you win this weekend, do you kind of see this sort of a week as being something in two or three years time could still be benefiting the group? Um, I don't know if we don't win. I, don't, I haven't thought about that. Okay. Um, if we don't win, I think it's unsuccessful. So <laughs> that's, that's my view on that. Um, the 2022 semi-final between yourselves and um, and the Bulls, is that something that has kind of stuck in your craw a bit over the, the couple of years? Um, no, not personally, no. Um, just kind of moved on from that and and do what's ahead. I don't tend to look look back at too many games. Um, I'll bring up another game against them then. The one a couple of months back at the RDS, specifically though on the on the scrums, and they did give you a lot of trouble, particularly early on in the scrums that night. Like, just how impressive a group are they in that area of the game? Yeah, their set piece is very strong. Um, it's probably the heartbeat of their game and, and what what gets them going. So um, yeah, it's a huge test ahead to deal with that and to to assert our own set piece on top of theirs. How motivated are you to to finish this season out on a high? Like, do, do you enjoy the, this part of the season where you come into a training week and you don't necessarily know if if this is going to be the last week of the season or not? Yeah, it's it's why you play. It's to get to to get to the top end of it and get to knock out games to to play cup rugby it's uh it's the best part of it and then finally then you obviously would have experienced it a couple of months back in that game against the lions and some of your players haven't had the opportunity to to play against the south african teams over here in the the last couple of years between just various stages being rested the the altitude obviously is the big thing we all talk about um how do you how do you deal with that? How do you how do you get used to that? How long does it take to get used to it? Uh, it's pretty good on the pitch today. Um, I mean, you feel it a little bit, not a whole lot. Like it was a bit of a different ball game against the Lions with the heat as well. That was the heat was probably the main factor that that was causing stresses there. Um, training today was good. There was we we got a bit of a blow on, not too much. Um, Got through all our strategy stuff and and um, yeah, I suppose just getting started with the with the thinner air and and everyone seemed pretty happy with it. Very good. Well, best of luck on Saturday. Thanks. Thanks, Kim. Cheers, Neil Lashing. Do you want to jump in? Yeah. Thanks, Neil. Hi, Keen Lashing here from Off the Ball House. Thanks. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, I missed the very start of it there. Um, just about the the travel and that. How do you find it, Keen? Like on your on your body and routine as a player, do you mind it or are you well used to it at this stage? 
Um, no, it was all right. It was good. Um, you know, we got looked after pretty well. We got enough time to have a stretch in the middle, and and you know, there's a bit of a routine in place where it's don't spend your whole time seated and to the general stuff. Get up and have a bit of movement, get your fluids and all that. And and you know, we had some stuff to review while we were on it, so we were kept pretty busy. It was uh, it was good. It was uh, it's good buzz traveling with such a big group. Like you know the you get a bit of crack out of it and and it's a bit different to the norm so like especially with a club like you don't do a whole lot of big travel or full week away with a club so um yeah there's good energy about it and coming up against the the bulls obviously i'm sure the player um you're excited about it it's a an exciting prospect what can you expect from them um i think as a front five player as a, a forward especially it's it's one of the more exciting games because it's probably one of the most physical games we'll be involved in and um you know that in in my position just screams a bit of joy to me you know it's uh it's something that you can just get stuck into and, and and test your physical levels against against a team that are very good in that zone we're always talking about the crowd and the impact they can have on a game obviously the the home crowd will be there for the balls do you think that that does make it harder in a sense um I mean, it'd be tricky not having our own supporters with the energy they've given us throughout the year and, and, and how good that's been. But I think if you can if you can corner it to just feed off the energy of a crowd, whoever it is, feed off the noise, feed off all of that, then then you just turn it into into your own little story then. Mm-hmm. The the disappointment of the Champions Cup just how important has winning the URC become for this group? Yeah, it's very important. You know, we, we want to mark ourselves on winning titles in se- each season and and we haven't won any for a couple of seasons and, and that has a bit of a sting to it. So, uh, yeah, it's it's something we're, we're properly chasing here. Brilliant, Keen. Very best of luck. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, Ash. Uh, if anyone from South Africa wants to jump in, can you just raise your hand and we'll let you in? Anyone popping up? <coughs> yeah, Jan, do you want to jump in? Thanks, Jan. Thank you. Uh, trying to get my camera on. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can see I'm a little human being. Um, a lot of people always talk, I mean, and you guys have been there now, uh, uh, about Loftus and the altitude. Um, have you guys done anything different this time, or are you planning to do anything di- different to counter that, or are you guys just uh, your own systems. Uh, the line is a little bit jumpy. Is it dealing with uh, the altitude? Is it? Yeah. Uh, are you guys doing anything? Because I mean, you've been here a couple of times. Are you guys are you planning to do anything different to counter the altitude, or are you just relying on your own systems? Um, no, nothing different. Um, you know, I suppose the fact that we got here as early as possible, just to get it, to get an understanding on the pitch and have an extra couple of pitch sessions under the belt so people know at what point that got, that's going to kick in and and uh, what sort of stresses that's going to put on us um i think it's it's a better option for us to be here this early rather than arrive say wednesday or something um in, in terms of the bulls themselves i mean they obviously evolved a little bit over this season um what uh threats do you think they bring to the game uh, that you guys gonna be aware of. Um, like I said already, their their set piece, both scrum and lineouts, are uh, are very dangerous areas for for them. Uh, I think that's that's how they get a big in into most of their games. So it's uh, that's going to be the huge challenge for us is to is to put a net over their set piece and and try and deal with it. And um, then they've they've got wicked pace and some and some great operators in their back line, uh, which we do too. So um, you know I think there's going to be good challenges out there as well. Yeah, I'm about to ask you. I mean, uh, the the irony is they 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 were always regarded as as a, a forward based team, but they scored the most tries and the most points. Um, have you seen an evolution in their game? In who? The evolution, the change in their game. Uh, you know, they, they've been scored the most tries this season and they've been scored the most points. Whose game? Bulls, Bulls game. Oh, um, 
I haven't seen so much of an evolution. Now it's it's their through the season their forward pack has been has been strong. Um, you know they've they know their strength there, and um, you know I think they stick they stick well to their strength, and then they look outside of that they keep the ball alive pretty well, and and that's what stresses teams. So it's how we deal with their their first part of their strength is their set piece, and how we deal with that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks, Jan. Morgan, do you want to jump in now? Yeah, thanks a lot, Daniel. Hi, Kim. Kim, of course, the focus is on this weekend's game, but in the context of the international season coming up, how big is this game for the Irish team? Seeing that a lot of you guys will be heading back to Pretoria next month to face the Springboks in that opening test of a mess. Um... I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, they're both both teams, both Leinster and Ireland play under different structures. So uh, what we deal with right now is how we play under our Leinster structure and how we want to go after the balls. Um, I mean, you're you're talking club game compared to international game with many different people in the four. So um, I wouldn't go too deep into that. Thanks, Lot Keen. Cheers. Does so anyone, anyone else want to jump in or we can let Keane go and we'll bring in Robin in a few minutes. I'll take that as a note. Keane, thank you very much. Thank you.